So this is my eighth meal from Blue Apron, the uh, Tuscan style pork chops with roasted potatoes and salsa verde, which I did not use. This is the first step is, of course, to chop up the potatoes. Potatoes took a long time to cook, so you always start with those. One thing I do find from this is that I'm pretty sure that people are upset at my chopping technique of these potatoes, whether they think I'm unsafe or whatever, and... I have trouble understanding exactly what I am supposed to be doing. I know that, like, ideally I have this kind of claw hand motion thing, but no matter what, I am sure that I am being unsafe, and I really just need someone to stand behind me and guide my hands as I cook, because I can never figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. We're going to cook these potato wedges on aluminum foil, which is at the suggestion of Blue Apron. I don't really know why. I don't really feel like that's valuable. I don't know if they're trying to save you from you know, getting the pan dirty or what, but we put a little bit of olive oil on top of those potatoes and toss them over while we wait for the oven to preheat. Here we're gonna pull out the pork. Um, I had initially thought the pork needed more, but really it just needed seasoning. So we got a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, pepper, pepper that we toss on there. And that's all it's gonna be. Uh, we got a little bit of pork and just, you know, salt and pepper, that's it. We do have this Tuscan spice blend that's going on the potatoes. Usually I like to kind of, you know, drizzle stuff on. That was really powdery and sticky and kind of difficult to kind of spread around. Uh, and I didn't really use enough of it. So if I was going to do this again, I would definitely be more generous with that Tuscan spice uh, that went on the potatoes. At this point, we've done the potatoes. Those are in the oven. We've tossed that pork over where that's cooking. And uh, now we've got to chop up our kale. So as before, this kale is just, you know, pull out the stems and cut out on the leaves. You see my giant leaf of kale there that we got. And we're just going to medium chop that. And later we will end up simmering it down as usual. So here is that. We check on our meat for a minute and come back, kind of chop up our kale a little bit more. Last thing we'll need to chop is the garlic, of course. Uh, we smash the garlic with the head and the tail on, pull off the uh, paper on the outside, the skin, I guess you would call it, on the outside, and uh, chop up that garlic. Two cloves of garlic. I think I might have actually done, I think one of them had like two cloves inside of it, and I just went with it because I feel like a little bit more garlic with your kale can't hurt, given that kale is a terrible food. Um, Realistically, I don't have a huge problem with it, but it's just not really a great leafy thing. You can see here where we've got this pork, I'm kind of cutting into it to try and make sure that everything is going all right because my temperature was too low for a while and I'm really scared of undercooked meat at the moment. I am putting that plastic uh, cutting board on the unused burner. Again, this is a side effect of not having a lot of space for me to video record in. Don't try this at home, kids, or if you're going to, be very aware of what you're doing. Uh, we'll toss that kale in there, add a little bit of salt and pepper, 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 and stir that up. We'll add a little bit more of the garlic, the water, and the uh, red pepper flakes we'll toss in there as well. So we'll have a little bit more flavor on that kale. Simmer that down so that you get kale mush rather than kale leaves. Add in a little bit of rice wine vinegar that goes at the end there. And then try and get these potatoes off of this piece of aluminum foil. You can see I have no luck. I give up and individually pull all of the potatoes off. Someone on the Blue Apron forum says they use parchment paper to, for this rather than aluminum foil. And I definitely think that I would do that if I were to do this again. Uh, or just cook them directly on the pan. Um, we're now cutting up that pork and we're actually using a fork this time to cut up the pork, which was a wise move that I did not do last time. This meal worked out over well, pretty well okay. No one in my family is a huge fan of pork, but it was cooked well. The potatoes had some flavor. Um, the kale was tasty and everything came out okay. So that's Blue Apron Meal number eight.